This is a quiet, secluded, and at the moment, a very peaceful part of Sherwood Forest. Under the tree behind me, tucked away in the leaf litter, should be the pupa of one of the county's rarest short moths, the broad bordered bee hawk moth. Last year, towards the end of summer, I reared some broad bordered bee hawk moth larvae very successfully, and I was able to re release the larvae which I wanted to photograph and which I reared with the idea of photographing. I released the pupa back at the site where they were found, and I'm here to have a look to see if they've emerged yet i think we're still a bit too early this is the 5th of may ah well there's the pupa Let's see if i can get you closer so there's the pupa there's about four in this area Fairly large for a pupa, but small by hawk moth standards. It's this lovely sort of chestnut brown colour with darker brown markings. And if I turn it over now, there's no real sign of them any emergence yet. This is a male pupa. Male pupa are smaller, as they are in most hawk moths. But it looks like we're still a little bit too early for broad-bordered bee hawk moth. It won't be long though, because if I rebury this again, I'll make a hole for it to sit in, leave it like that, and just see if we can find any more. We'll cover it up, leaf it up. That's as good as new. No one has any idea what's tucked away in there. Still another week or so to go, I think. Well, at least we know that one has survived and will be hatching in probably within a fortnight. The honeysuckle that's growing up this small oak and silver birch is in the prime position. Broad bordered bee hawk moths prefer honeysuckle growing in partial shade, and that one is ideal. There's another one just a little bit further up from this, and that also produced some eggs last year. In fact, during the course of some survey work that I did in May and June of 2021, I found several areas locally to this spot where eggs had been laid and there's another area just away from Clipson Old Quarter where it should be the right conditions for female broad bee hawk moths to lay the eggs but also they're not restricted to laying in semi-shade on Sherwood Heath near New Ollerton I found several eggs and several larvae on honeysuckle that was growing within grass, just short strands of honeysuckle growing straight out of the grass and in full sun. So maybe if it's a woodland habitat, they prefer partial shade, but if it's more open habitat, then they'll lay in the full sun. That certainly seems to be the case. <laughs> 